Hi guys, welcome to Asian Patriot. We usually give you car reviews, but it seems like you guys also like to see small campus or RV from South Korea. So we have prepared one more and no worries, I'm not a you know camping car salesperson. We really wanted to just share that new experience with you guys. So let me just show you this tiny camper from Korea. So now let me just show you the inside. Um, you can lock it and there's also a screen right here to keep the mosquitoes away. And uh, there's a place to put your shoes right here, which is quite deep. You can put many shoes in there. And uh, there's also a air vent right here, which blows hot air. So <clears throat> if you're shoes is wet it will dry out and we have some storage area even on the bottom and this camping car is actually good for five people let me just show you uh, when you drive you can have uh, three people on the first row seats and we have a uh, two seat belt right here so can be uh, driving safely uh, here but I think uh, you can have uh, many many more people uh, sleeping and uh, enjoying this camping car when you're not driving and we have a bunker bed here. Uh, I'm about 60 or so. Uh, when I lay down, it's a little bit tight, but it should be quite fine for two kids, I think. But we have a window here, over here. And so it's, it's quite nice. And uh, the best part is that uh, this is optional, but when you're not driving, you can get this up here. So which yields, uh, much better visibility and just more space inside and let's say it's raining snowing cold hot something like that you can just uh you don't have to exit that way you can just uh go here and start driving and just come back in so i think i think that's uh much better it's a really good idea it's an option but yeah and uh if you have children you can we have also this uh, child protection thingy right here. So you put it like that. <laughs> yeah, not a camping car expert, but uh, just wanted to share it. So if you have a baby here, so that's a pretty good idea as well. And uh, we have uh, this couch here. And uh, additionally, we have lots of uh, shelves on the top like that. So with the mechanic, locking mechanism so this is a camping car so it would be moving so it's pretty good and this this is also pretty interesting i think like five people couch and uh, this table actually moves too so if you want a little bit closer to the that side that side you guys can all you know enjoy it and uh let's say uh when you're all done you can also there's a lever here and it just goes down like this and you can make additional bed uh, not good with the puzzle but let's give it a try so like this you can make the bed like that and i think uh you know two more people can sleep here uh play games like that so i think it's, it's pretty good and uh there's also tv right here uh 27 inch LG TV. I don't know if it's good. You're supposed to be enjoying your nature, but like uh, I told you before, you can, you know, mirror your smartphone, uh, you know, see Netflix and everything. So it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, we have lots of windows, lots of shelves, uh, LED lamps. Uh, we also have a max fan right on the top and a Bel Air 2400 air conditioner slash heater. And the best thing is, you know, we're known for um, underfloor heating here in Korea, and it's, it's so good. Right now it's about minus seven degrees Celsius here in Korea, and this camping car is just warm, very nice. And like I told you, we have a max fan and everything. Uh, where are the remotes? Uh, they give you remotes, three of them, so you can uh, change the uh, lights, you can turn it on, off, all at a time. So. 
It's pretty nice. Uh, max fan. You use it for ventilations or as a as a fan as well. So air conditioner. So it's pretty good. You can be you know laying down here just just uh, with a touch of button. You can do everything. Very nice. Uh, did I mention this is a trash can? So pretty nice. Okay. And uh, we have a 150 liter refrigerator. Um, that's refrigerator on the top. It's actually cool. And freezer on the bottom. All right. And on the top, we have lots of controls. Uh, that's for the uh, electric uh, heated floor, uh, heated water, and that's inverter switch. And this uh, watches uh, how much uh, clean water switch you have. So very nice. And uh, many more shelves here. Ah. That's not a show, but that's some storage area. And we have a large sink right here. Uh, it's a faucet. You can uh, clean your vegetables, uh, you know, get ready for your barbecue. And uh, last time when we uh, showed you Hyundai Porsche and many other camping cars, you guys were really curious, uh, where's the burner, right? Uh, but here in Korea, as a law, uh, traffic regulations, you're not supposed to have a burner flame in a camping car but here they have added an uh, induction right here electric one so you can use it so that's pretty nice we have a microwave uh, more storage area and uh, this also we have a heater vent right here so heated floor and also heated heater going on right here and this is the uh, service door big old service door right on the bed and to the right, we have a little bathroom here, fixed uh, toilet, also swivels like that. So, which is pretty good idea. Some shelves right there, right there. And mini max fan on the top, a window, a place to put your towel, shower, faucet, even nice, even heated uh, under floor heating going on really lovely and uh you know water drains three of them so yeah this is a this is a b-class uh camping car but i think they really thought about how to maximize uh, the interior space and how to utilize it so it's really i i think it's a great little bathroom and behind here we have a you know bed too Oh, it's really cozy. I'm about 6'2", and uh, even if I lay down, let's see. Uh, uh, it's pretty all right. I think so. Two adults should be fine. So it's pretty good. And we even have a TV here. Um, so I guess these guys really want you to watch lots of TV. Uh, we have uh, lots of uh, storage area, shelves on the top. Um, Yes, many of you guys uh, want to see a closet. Uh, they have a closet with the other model, but not with this car. But overall, we have uh, lots of lights, and lights going on. Um, you can open the door like this. I've got four of them and it's just pretty nice. So they also have a mosquito net. You can all close everything for privacy. So this is a Kia Bongo 3 based uh, camping car and as the name suggests it's about 6.5 meters long so it should be classified as a B-class camping car which is good for five people. And we have an aluminum wheel down here and uh, we also have a you know, live feed for backup camera and surrounding camera so we're going to show you at the end. Uh, this is uh, also takes Ed Blue because this has a diesel engine in it and you can straight plug in power here let's say you go to koa some camping site that provides electricity you just hook it up and use it for unlimited amounts and also have a little service door here uh, it's a it's not large but you can put little items such as uh you know your shoes uh camping equipment stuff like that okay so and we have a four meter awning right there led lamp on the top lots of windows this is main entrance and Ah, oh, my hands are frozen. And voila, look, we have a... I don't know if it's a good idea to have a TV, but this is actually 27 LG 
smart TV. You can actually stream your Netflix, uh, everything into here, but I'm not sure, you know, you're supposed to be enjoying the nature, not watching TV. So, but when you want, you can certainly do that. So that's pretty good. And we have a external shower. Let's say your kids come from, uh, you know, outside. You can also, it also comes uh, heated water uh, and cool water can change the temperature. So that's uh, for the external shower. And, oops. Okay, um, you can fix it like that. And we have a uh, one gigantic, one more service door right there. Stay here because the, the other one opens too. And it's just uh, like that. It's, it's very large. I, can, I mean, I'm about six to eight. I can't, I, I can't even walk through here. And uh, one nice thing is that uh, it's a bed up here and they placed a heater up, he up here. So uh, when it gets really cold, uh, they have a water lines going up here and batteries. So it's just does not freeze anything and keeps the bed warm. Okay, so pretty nice. We have uh, LED lights up here. So you can put your like bikes and everything. So I think that's a pretty good idea. So these guys uh, made whole rear designs. A bike rack, uh, if you love uh, biking. We have a leaf spring, uh, two more uh, reinforced uh, to give you a better ride. So it should be quite nice. Uh, moving to the side, uh, nice service door. Uh, we have a cartridge type toilet, you know. So when you're done, you can just uh, take it out dump it what you're supposed to do okay so very nice uh, aluminum wheel uh, takes the diesel right and uh, we have uh, 200 liters of uh, clean water tank right here and 150 of uh, gray or sewage right there and uh, let me just quickly also show you the uh, the car from the driver's seat um, usually uh, you don't get reclining seats but you do quite a bit here. And this is a Bongo 3 based. So it's got drive-wise uh, feature in here, which uh, consists of uh, four collisions, avoidance, uh, regular cruise control, and uh, lane departure warning. So it should be quite nice. And like I told you, we have a full channel <laughs> camera, sort of a surrounding camera. When you put the uh, reverse, uh, it shows the backup, but we have a one, two, three, four. Um, that's, I think that's a very good, this is a large car, so when you drive, you need to see where you're going. Uh, gear selector and everything, and so, um, yeah. It's a diesel. All right, guys, this has been a short walkthrough with the B-Class small camping car RV from South Korea. Uh, Price-wise, uh, fully loaded, something like this will cost you about 78K US dollars. There's no interest or pricing, so direct conversion. And when I talk to the owner, uh, not exporting just yet, but he's really working hard to uh, export this campers worldwide so if something comes up we'll let you know and if he makes or rolls out another one newer model we'll be here to show it to you so thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll be back with much much more so if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also smash that like button so you don't miss out in the future thank you guys see you soon stay healthy and bye bye Yeah, not a camping car expert, so. Ah. There. <laughs>